going to start just sitting and breathing. Yep. Okay. Okay, come and sit. Make yourself comfortable. Maybe sit in cross leg like so, flexing your feet to support your shins. Or maybe sit and cross up adapt like so. Knees lower than the hips, definitely. Sit on extra support if you need. Or if you feel this is a bit too much, you can straighten your legs to the front and that's absolutely fine. Okay, so we're going to lengthen from the base of the spine upwards to the crown of the head, from the hips to your armpits, and you can exaggerate, inhale, lift your arms, and take your shoulders back, relax your shoulders, relax your hands, somewhere on your thighs, thumb and finger connected, your chin level, back of the head moving slightly back to elongate your neck, close your eyes, notice your whole body, your whole posture, and make any little adjustments. If you feel you need to change the cross of your legs, please do it. Or if you want to stretch your legs, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so whatever you need. Deepen your breath. Inhaling deep into the abdomen, the middle chest, upper chest. And as you exhale, exaggerate. Squeeze your tummy in, exhale fully. And again, inhale, breathing deep. Exhale fully and keep your breath deep and flowing. And try to use whole capacity of your lungs. Take a moment and remind yourself about your intention we all have intentions. Your intention can be very small or very big. Your intention can be just for this yoga class or for a day, for a few days ahead. And if you are in doubt, ask yourself how you committed to yourself, how you committed to your health and find the inspiration in your answer. And keep your breath deep, flowing, enjoyable. Let's take another couple of deep breaths before we open you up the eyes. And when you're ready, open your eyes, relax your arms and your legs. Let you stretch your legs to the front. Stretch your legs and give your legs a little shake. Relax, relax your legs. And then come on your all fours and we start to do cut and a cow stretch. Nice and easy warm up. We start to warm up the back, the shoulders, the hips. You have your hands beneath your shoulders, knees directly beneath the hips and your toes under. So inhale, soften between your shoulder blades, soften and melt, and then look up. And as you exhale, chin to your chest and round. Inhale, abdomen down. Again, soften between your shoulder blades. Look up. Exhale and round. And continue. On the inhalation, look up. This is your cow stretch. And then exhale, the cow stretch. And do once more. Again, inhale, look up. Exhale, round. And then bring your back parallel to the floor in your child position. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of balances here. Slide your right foot back, keep your hips level, and then lift your leg up and push your heel back to the wall behind you. Engage your tummy muscles and then stretch your left arm up, thumb up towards the ceiling and stretch the stretch. Use your core muscles to support your posture. Exhale and release. Change inside. Slide your left foot back. Keep your hips level. Lift your tummy muscles. Lift your leg. Lift your right thumb up. And stretch. Stretch in diagonally. Take a deep breath. And then exhale. Bring it down. Change inside. Right leg back. Push the heel back to the wall behind you. Tummy muscles engaged. Left thumb up. Deep breath. Exhale. 
exhale, bring it down. Change inside, left leg. Lift, right thumb up. Deep breathing. Exhale and release. Let's do once more. Right leg. Lift, left thumb up. Keep your tummy muscles engaged. Squeeze your tummy to your spine. Exhale, bring it down, change inside. Left leg, right thumb. Tummy muscles engaged. Neck is long and soft. Exhale, bring it down. Well done. What you're going to try to do, you're going to try to do right leg and right arm. Okay, so now right leg back. Okay, now lift, engage your core, squeeze the hips and shift the weight of the body slightly to the left. And then go on your finger pads on the right hand. Just take a moment, maybe this is just enough. Lightly, lightly touching the floor. Or maybe stretching your right arm up, thumb up towards the ceiling, slow. And stretch this right side, push your heel back, fingers reaching forward. I know it's a bit tricky balance here. Be playful. Well done, release, change inside. Let's do left leg back. Engage your hips, tummy muscles in, shift the weight to the right. And when you're ready, go on your finger pads on the left hand and you can stay here just lightly touching the floor. Or oh, try to stretch, left thumb up, stretch this, stretch there. This is not diagonal, this is just left hand side, stretch this, stretch. And then release. Well done. Once more. Second round is always easier. Okay, right leg. Moving the hips slightly to the left. Go on in your all your finger pads, and this is just enough, perhaps. Just lightly, lightly touching the floor, challenging the balance. Or stretch your arm. Deep breath. And then release. Okay, change inside. Left leg. Squeeze the hips. Shift slightly to the right left thumb or just lightly touching the floor just challenging the balance here challenging the core core muscles engaged okay stretch 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 exhale bring it down okay well done moving your hands forward or your knees back and then they come up to down facing dog so moving the hips back first squeeze your arms and your shoulders and with the strong shoulders, lift your knees off the floor and lengthen, lengthen, lengthen through your spine. Push the hips as high as you can. And then looking back at your legs, we're going to sport walk with your right knee, then the left. Let's stretch the back of the legs, stretching the back of the calves. Press all finger parts into the floor. If you're not sure about your hands, just look at your hands. Spread your fingers wide, creases on your wrists parallel to the front of your mat and stretch enjoy the stretch on your next inhale come up high on your tiptoes look between your hands bend your knees walk towards your hands a little steps forward closer to your hands make space between your feet hips width apart or wider bend your knees for the first forward bend okay just take it easy for the first forward bend knees bent absolutely fine squeeze the legs Take one hand at the back of the pelvis, checking, back of the pelvis, tipping forward, not back. Maybe you need to bend your knees more, absolutely fine. Hold your elbows, relax your neck. Good to stay here for a little while. Super strong legs and perhaps move your arms one side, then to the other side. Stretching the sides of the body. Relax your neck, just nod your head, make sure that your neck is soft, no tension to the neck. Squeeze the legs, we're stretching a little bit more around the lower back. Listen to your hamstrings, bend your knees more if you need. Great, and then come back to the middle, squeeze the legs, hands to the hips. We come up slow, lift your elbows, shoulders, lift your chin, squeeze in the legs and come up, squeeze, 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 come up standing and then relax your arms and just roll your shoulders, soften your neck, okay, relax, relax, well done, interlace your fingers, invert your hands and we just stretch upwards, stretch and then move from side to side, okay, we continue to stretch the sides of the body, muscles around the hips, 
around your shoulders. Okay, nice and easy movements. Just checking how you feel today. Well done. And then stop in the middle. Undo your hands, stretch your arms up. So palms facing upwards and you spin your little fingers up. Take your arms back, thumbs back to the wall behind you. Lift your chest and open, open your chest. Well done, nice and gentle stretch. Relax your neck again, relax and soften. Then exhale and release, just roll the shoulders, soften. Okay, great. Come to the front of your mat again, if you're not dead, and with the warrior two, an extended side stretch. Okay, stepping back with the right, big step. Big step back with your right, and we look at the feet and we check the alignment. You have front heel in line with the middle of your back and step. And then you bend your front knee and check in front knee, staying above your front ankle. Just in case it's overextended, what you do, you just zigzag your back foot back. So sitting lower and check in front knee there, above your front ankle. Hips drawing in with your hands, you just squeeze the hips a little bit stronger. Well done. Lengthen in the tailbone, straight your arms and look where you're left. Okay, deep breath. Breathing deeply into your chest. Feel steady and strong with your legs. Legs drawing in, tummy muscles engaged, supporting the lower back. Open heart, strong, brave warrior. Breathing deeply. On your next inhale, I want you to lengthen a little more from the hips to your armpits. And then straight, straight, straight to the left, left elbow down, right arm over the head. Press your back foot into the floor stronger and we take the top shoulder back, look up above the elbow. So now, if you can keep this alignment and easily touch the floor with your left hand, go for it. But don't worry to do everything. Again, check your breath. Breath easy, flowing. Don't struggle with your breath. If you struggle with your breath, come back to the previous option. Just elbow on your knee and breathe. Enjoy the stretch. Inhale now. And as you exhale, look down. Touch the floor and step back to down facing dog. Have a good stretch. And again, if you want to sport walk, feel free. Bend your right knee, then the left. Have a good stretch there. Wiggle the hips from side to side. And then come up high on your tiptoes. Look between your hands, bend your knees, walk in. Walk towards your hands, into your forward bend. Squeeze the legs. Keep this energy. Bend your knees if you need. Take your hands to the hips, lift your elbows, shoulders, lift your chin, come up with a straight back and strong legs, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the legs. Very good, and we step back with the left. I'm just going to change my side here. Left foot back, and let's check again. Front heel in line with the middle of your back and step. Bend your front knee, check your front knee there, above your front ankle, and if you need space, just take your back foot back again, sit lower if you can. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the hips, engage your core, and then stretch your arms. Looking over your right. Breath, deep and flowing. On each inhale, see if you can lengthen a little more. On the exhale, squeeze your core muscles in, keep it strong. We take another breath. Checking that front knee, I need, I need to check my Double check my front knee. Mm -hmm. Well done. Inhale now, lengthen. And then exhale, stretch the straight to, to the right. Right elbow down, left arm over the head. Take a moment. Maybe this is just enough of the side stretch. Press the outer edge of the left foot into the floor stronger. See if you can stretch more. And if you can keep this alignment, right hand to the floor. Okay. And again, breath. Easy and flowing. Big inhalation and stronger controlled exhalation. Well done, everyone. Now inhale and as you exhale, look down, engage your core, touch the floor, and step back to down facing dog. Let's step back, have a good stretch again. Again, if you want to sport walk, move the hips from side to side. Take your hands, claw the floor with your finger pads. Extend and lengthen. On your next inhale, come up on your 
tiptoes, look between your hands, bend your knees, walking. Tummy muscles engaged as you're walking. Make space between your feet, hips width apart or wider. Squeeze the legs, hands to the hips. Lift your elbows, shoulders, lift your chin, come up with a straight back and strong legs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Well done, and then relax your arms. Okay, well done. We do the shoulder stretch. Okay, I'm just going to show you back way. So back view, like so. Going to see if you can connect your hands behind. If not, this is where you're placing the belt on top of your shoulder. I'm going to bring my belt. Okay, okay my belt is here. If you need the belt, place on top of the shoulder and then just connect your hands behind, like so. So see if you can adjust to your practice. Okay, so let's try. If you're using belt, bring the belt on top of your left shoulder and you stretch your right arm up, left to the side, stretch to stretch. And then see if you can connect your hands with ease or do this adjustment, elbow in and wiggle, wiggle your hand between your shoulder blades. Then see if you can hold your hands or find this belt behind, hold the belt. Okay, take a moment here. And we fold right arm forward. I'm just going to move the belt to the side. Right arm forward, and then draw your whole arm back into your shoulder joint. Lift your elbows on a straight line up and up and up and up. And you want to squeeze your shoulder blades at the back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Relax your neck, crown of the head reaching upwards. And you're thinking about this right arm, but still moving back, moving back. Well done to have a good stretch. Squeeze your shoulders at the back. Take a deep breath. Okay, well done. And then exhale and release. Just shake your arms, shake, shake, shake. Roll your shoulders and we change direction. Now, left arm up, right to the side. Lengthen, then see if you can connect your hands behind. If it's too much, you can connect your hands. And again, belt. Belt is here. If you need, hold the belt. Take a good stretch here. Again, I'm going to move belt to the side. Then happy to just hold my hands behind. Okay, I'm going to fold the left arm forward. Draw your whole arm back into your shoulder joint and stretch your arm up and up and up on a straight line. Now I'm thinking about this left arm which moving back and you want to squeeze your shoulder blades at the back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Well done. Keep the length, neck is soft, crown of the head reaching upwards. Great, shoulder straight. Well done. And on your next inhale, Relax and give your arms a little shake. Roll the shoulders, soften, soften. Okay, we warmed up shoulders nicely. We warmed up the hips. So the next posture, we're going to do the balance, the dancer pose, mini dancer pose. So it would be a little bit easier. Okay, so options for you here. Freestanding looks like so. We're going to stretch one arm up. You're going to hold one foot behind. And it is a little back bend. So for the back bend, you're going to lengthen the tailbone engage your tummy so you do this preparation and then you pick it forward you lift your arm upwards and you lift your foot as high as you can looking straight ahead so if you feel this is a bit too much for today you can come to the wall and you can do all the same you're just holding the wall like so you're holding the wall, wall in front stand with the length of your arm away from the wall and when you're here in the posture, you just walk your hand up and up and up and up. And then when you don't need the wall, let go or just leave one finger and just balance in here. Okay, so let's try together. Okay, we stretch the left arm up or come to the wall with the left arm. Okay, and you just touch the wall there with your left finger pads. Okay, inhale, stretch. We're going to fold right leg, holding your right foot. Inhale, lengthen in through the sides. Take your shoulders back. Little bit of tailbone, actually a lot. Lots of tailbone, you squeeze your tummy in. Look straight ahead and then peel it forward. Keep your core engaged. Left thumb moving up and back. And your right foot pressing into your hand and you lift your foot as high as you can to have a good stretch. 
Look straight ahead. Balance. Take another couple of deep breaths. Don't make yourself tight. Big expansive inhalation and stronger controlled exhalation. And then release, release. Give your legs a little shake. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, and we change side. Okay, now right arm up. Okay, and we're going to hold the left foot or hold the wall with your right hand. The inhale. Lengthen in the tailbone, tummy engaged. Give it forward. Look at the point, straight the head. When you feel balanced, then try to extend more. Right arm reaching up. Press your left foot into your hand. Lift your foot a little higher. Squeeze the hips. Keep your core engaged. Deep breathing. Another deep breath. Well done. And then exhale and relax. Okay, shake your legs, roll your shoulders, relax, relax. Okay, brilliant. Now we're going to squat and sit on the floor. I just need to have a drink. Please do keep yourself hydrating during the practice. Take a drink as well. Okay, and then we're going to squat slow and sit on the floor. So take your feet as wide as your yoga mat. As wide as your yoga mat. I'll face you. And we're going to keep toes active. So let's lift the toes up. Stretch your arms in front. Inhale. And as you exhale, moving the hips back and the knees wide. Slow, listen to your back. So you can stop on halfway. That's absolutely fine. Okay, knees wide, toes active, going lower and lower. Well done. Then bring your hands together with your elbows taking knees wider apart. You can stop in any transition and you don't have to do everything. If this is too much, don't worry. Just sit in your fashion way on the floor. Engage in all your core muscles. Taking another deep breath to have a good stretch here for the hips, for the lower back, for the back of the pelvis. And then you're going to sit on the floor. If you need to hold the floor, hold the floor, one hand in front, one hand behind, or stretch your arms and then sit and then stretch your legs to the front and give your legs a little shake. Then just relax the legs. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, well done. And we go into the forward bend. So we bend right leg. So bend your right leg, point your toes, take your heel into the groin and then adjust the space. Space between the sitting bones, taking the flesh of the buttocks wider, taking one hand to the lower back and taking back straight. If not, then please do sit on the block. So you would sit on the block like so. You take the block and you sit on it, or hold it blanket, okay? And you check, okay, back straight. So this is what you want, back straight. Okay, I'm happy to sit on the floor. I'm just going to sit back on the floor. Okay, and we absorb, um, Observe this front leg, press your heel down, toes active, second toe definitely looking upwards. Take your hands behind, inhale, and you lengthen, and as you exhale, begin to fold forward. And again, inhale, you stretch, exhale, tummy engaged, and fold from the hips. Don't worry to go far. And again, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. And we again, observing this front leg. If you sit on the floor, you press the back of the thigh into the floor. You feel your hamstrings pressing into the floor. And the front thigh muscles working hard. Heel pressing into the floor still. And if it's easy for you to hold your toes, hold it. One hand, another hand on the floor. Lengthening through the sides, softening between the shoulder blades. Maybe this is enough of the stretch, or you want to hold your foot with two hands. Keep your elbows lifted, arms moving back into your shoulder joints. Again, inhale, you stretch. Exhale, you soften between your shoulder blades. Relax your neck. Again, inhale, you lengthen. Exhale, soften the back of the heart. Relax your neck and fold. Okay, or maybe you're here just holding the floor behind, also good. Inhale, you stretch, exhale, you fold. Inhale, you lengthen, keep the length. Exhale, tummy engaged, and you fold. 
Let's take another deep breath here. And then come back. Inhale, come back to the sitting. Lean back, stretch your both legs. Give your legs a little shake. Relax, relax, relax. And we change side. I'm going to swing around for you. Okay. And let's do left leg. Point your toes. Take your heel into the groin. And again, take flesh of the buttocks a little wider to the sides. Check your lower back. How the back doing? Are you sitting upright? Okay. Take your hands behind. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale. Press this right leg into the floor and you fall. Okay, and again, inhale, you stretch. Exhale, you fold from the hips. Okay, and now again, checking the energy of the front leg. If you sit on the floor, you feel your hamstrings pressing into the floor and the back of the heel in any variation, back of the heel pressing into the floor. Second toe looking up for it. Inhale, you stretch. Exhale, you fold. Okay, inhale, you lengthen. Exhale, engage your core muscles and fold. Maybe you can hold your toes with one hand, another hand on the floor, using the arms to lengthen and then soften between the shoulder blades and fold. Maybe two hands. Oh, maybe two hands at the back. And that's absolutely fine. Keep adjusting to your practice. Inhale, you stretch. Exhale, you fold. Listening to your body and definitely not working over pain adjusting to the practice and applying enough effort to have a good stretch just to have a good stretch to feel better after the practice in our body another breath and then come back inhale come back Stretch your both legs and relax your legs. Just give them a little shake. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, brilliant. So what I suggest, sit like so. So you're leaning back, you tip the pelvis forward. The back is in natural alignment. And just sit and watch me for the next one. I'm going to show you the bridge pose. So the bridge pose, pose is the back bend. So I'm going to show you lots of different options for the back bend. So easy option would be taking one block or two one or two and then you place it under the hips or you can use the blanket if you don't have blocks just hold the blanket okay so it looks like so so you're going to lie down on the floor going to bend your knees checking heels beneath your knees and if your lower back is very tight today so what you do you take one block maybe under the hips or if you if you're okay that's too easy just take two blocks under the hips and you can stay here so make sure that you're comfortable, back of the pelvis resting on the blocks, and you can stay here. So this is nice and passive back bend, so you have a lovely gentle stretch here. Okay, if you're very happy with your lower back today, and you want to come up higher, so the next option looks like so, when you're lifting your chest and then lifting the hips. And you can stop here using your arms to support your body, or maybe interlace your fingers, roll the shoulders closer, yeah, and check how you feel. If it's too much for the lower back, soften the groins, soften your buttocks, and you can stop here, just make everything happy here. Or if you feel very steady, maybe stretching one leg up, breathing deeply into your chest, and then you change your leg. When you finish, arms to the sides, buttocks go down first, then parts of the back, then you straighten the legs, give your legs a little shake, relax, relax, and we do second round. Okay, so let's, let's do it together. Grab the blocks if you want to take it easy. Yeah? And then lie down on the floor. And we're going to check the alignment. Let's check on the side. Your heels beneath your knees. Space between your feet, hips width apart. Then you lie down, bend your elbows. Make sure the blade's flat on the floor. Inhale, press your arms into the floor. Lift your chest and then lift the hips just check in how you feel okay do you need to soften the buttocks soften the groins grab the blocks under the hips if you need it well done choosing your ad adjusting and choosing your variation maybe you can interlace your fingers beneath your back roll the shoulders closer to each other press your arms into the floor stronger 
and lift your chest higher, breathe in deeply. Maybe this is just enough, you can stop here, or can you lift one leg up? And then point your toes upwards. Two deep breaths, press your arms into the floor stronger, lift your chest, breathe, and then maybe change your side if you do legs. Change your side, take another leg up, point your toes upwards, still stretch in the front of the body, breathe into your chest, lift your sternum, lift, lift, lift. Well done, and then exhale, bring it down. Okay, okay. arms moving to the sides. Buttocks go down first, parts of the back, and then stretch your legs and relax your legs. Give your legs a little shake. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, well done. And we do second round. So when you're ready, bend your knees. Again, checking heels beneath your knees. Space between your feet, hips width apart. Press your elbows, shoulders into the floor. Lift your chest and then lift the hips. Okay, checking how you feel. Maybe you want to go on the blocks or you're happy here. Soften your groins, soften your buttocks, lower back is happy. Interlace your fingers beneath your back, roll the shoulders, press your arms into the floor, lift your chest. And then lift one leg up, point your toes upwards, deep breath, well done. Big expansive inhalation, stronger controlled exhalation. Change your legs if you do legs. Another leg up, point in your toes, upwards, still stretch in the front of the body. And then exhale, bring it down. Arms moving to the sides, buttocks go down first, then the parts of your back, straighten your legs and give your legs a little shake. Shake, shake, shake your legs, relax, relax, lovely. And then hug your knees, bring your knees to your chest, and you just hug your knees and you rock from side to side. It's just the rocking. Well done. And then with each hand on top of your knee, do rolling. Rolling clockwise direction, then anti clockwise direction. Nice gentle self massage for the back, for the back of the pelvis. Nice and easy. Okay, well done. And then we're going to roll over to the right hand side, come up sitting and sit comfortably for a moment and watch me for the next one. For the next, I'm going to show you again options for the shoulder stand or half shoulder stand. And again, blocks are very useful if you want to take it easy. So the foundation is all the same, like for the bridge pose. So you're going to lie down, you're going to make your shoulder blades flat on the floor. Okay, and this is the arms you're going to use when you're lifting the legs up. Or, again, placing one block or two blocks. I'm just going to place two blocks because I'm quite comfortable on two. Again, back of the pelvis fully on the, on the block. You feel very steady and comfortable. And then you just lift one leg. And then you lift another leg. And this is your shoulder stand or variation of the shoulder stand. And then you can relax your arms and you can stay here and you can also work with your feet point, flex, point, flex. You can do circular movements with the feet here. Okay, just have fun in this easy option. Or you can come up a little higher and just show you the, oh, another variation. We're using your arms, your core muscles, inhale, lift and you catch the hips. We're going to check the neck is very comfortable, chin lifted and the base of the neck not on the floor, there's definitely space there. Or for the full shoulder stand, you come up even higher, okay? And if you're very happy here, maybe take one foot behind, touch the floor, <laughs> and then another foot, touch the floor, okay, the floor is here. Or maybe you can do two feet and you stay there, this is called the plow pose, okay, I don't have space there. But this is called the plow pose, holding the floor behind with your hands, or interlace your fingers like so. Okay, so, and when you finish, you come back to your shoulder stand, then you bend your knees, hold the floor, and you slowly unroll, vertebra by vertebra. Use your tummy muscles when you do slow unrolling, and then feet on the floor. 
okay so if you not started yet start with me okay so you lie on the floor i'm making sure that there's a space behind for my legs okay bend your elbows lift your chin base of the neck not touching the floor and then you roll up touch the hips half shoulder stand or for the full shoulder stand you come up even higher squeezing the legs and lift 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 your legs up hold the parts of your back and just check how you feel there and also you can do with your feet you can point you can flex point and flex and you could do circular movements with the feet just a little bit fun here creating a little bit more mobility for your ankle joints use your core muscles to support your posture Okay, point and flex, point and flex. Checking your neck, how's your neck doing? Base of the neck is not touching the floor, just checking again, chin lifted. Base of the neck not on the floor. Okay. How's the plow pose? We take about 13 seconds in the plow pose. Okay, take one leg back, another leg. Just check if it's okay. Maybe two feet on the floor. And uh, then maybe holding the floor or interlace your fingers. Press your arms into the floor stronger. Again, check your neck. Chin lifted. 30 seconds in this plow pose would be just enough. Quite strong stretch. Strong stretch for the neck, for the back. And when you finish, you come back again, come back to shoulder stand, half shoulder stand. Draw all the energy upwards, lifting your feet high, chin lifted, neck is comfortable, and your feet moving away from the face, just a little bit more forward, if you are in a full shoulder stand. Great posture to bring more blood circulation to the brain. And uh, this is a lovely posture to work against the gravity, to improve the immune system, to improve the lymphatic flow, massaging the heart, massaging the lungs, the thyroid gland. Okay, now we're going to relax or release the posture with easy, in easy way. So bend to your knees, okay, straighten your arms, hold the floor palms facing down, now engage your tummy muscles and begin slow unroll, unrolling, use your tummy muscles, unroll, vertebra by vertebra, knees bent, place your feet on the floor, you are on the floor now, and roll your head from shoulder to shoulder, let's relax the neck, rolling from shoulder to shoulder, relaxing, relaxing the neck, that's very nice. Nice and easy. Very good. And then roll over to your right hand side. Come up sitting. Okay, well done. And I'm going to quickly show you the option for your the fish pose. The fish pose nice and supported on the blocks today. Okay, you can have two blocks, one block for your shoulder blades, one block for your head, and if you don't have blocks, you can use the blanket. I'm just going to show you this option first. So the shoulder blades go on one block, the head goes on the other block, and you take your arms and your legs wide apart, and enjoy this passive stretch, and this is your relaxation. Okay. And if you feel you, you want to take it easy on the blanket, blanket, Okay. Blanket is here. I've got my blanket to show you. So you just fold the blanket, okay, like so, for example, and you have shoulder blades and your head on the blanket. Or you can make it even longer if you need. So for me, this is just enough. My head, my shoulder blades on the blanket, and I have passive stretch. Okay. Or you can, you can make the blanket higher, you can make the blanket even longer. So get ready, grab the blanket or the blocks okay, and get ready. Also, you can put your socks on, jumpers on, make sure that you're warm and comfortable. Okay, and then we relax. 
the blue is snowing. There you go. Thank you. You don't snow. Okay. So are you ready for your fish boys? The blanket or the blocks? Line with the shoulder blades and the head. Arms away from your body. Palms facing upwards. Feet wider than the hips. And you stay here. And we're going to focus on the breath. I will be sitting for you. So please do lie down, make yourself comfortable, relax, and I will be sitting for you. I'm going to sit on this blanket and I will guide you for relaxation and your breathing exercise. Lie down and relax. You're warm and comfortable. Make all the adjustments you need. Close your eyes, notice your breath and extend your inhalations, exhalations and as you land here in your posture with your chest open, arms wide to the sides, your heart center is open and you have lots of space to breathe in your chest. Inhale in deep. Exhale fully and start to count your breath in and your breath out. Inhale for count of five. Exhale for count of five. And then inhale for count of six. And exhale for count of six. Next round, inhale for count of six. Hold the breath for count of three. Exhale for count of six. And again, hold the breath for count of three. Next round, inhale for count of seven. Hold the breath for count of three. Exhale for count of seven. And again, hold the breath for count of three. Next round, inhale for count of eight. Hold the breath for count of four. Exhale for count of eight. And hold the breath for count of four. Next round, inhale for count of nine. Hold the breath for count of four. Exhale for count of nine. And again, hold the breath for count of four. Next, inhale for count of 10. Hold the breath for count of five. Exhale for count of 10. Hold the breath for count of five. And we're going to stop with this count for a few breaths. I repeat again, inhale for 10, hold for five. Exhale for 10 and hold for five. Keep counting. Make your last two rounds 
over the last count. When you finish all your repetitions, release the count. Come back to your normal breathing pattern. Now release the count. Come back to your normal breathing pattern. Observe your whole body. Notice your breath and just noticing how you're feeling. Noticing the difference. How are you breathing now? How are you feeling in your mind, in your body? Steady breathing. Calm and alert mind. Relax the body. Just creating this connection between the breath the body and mind. Steady breathing. Calm and alert mind. Relaxed body. Now, as your practice comes to the end, Bring your awareness back to your surroundings, back to the room you are in, to your friends, to your family, to your pets next to you. Deepen your breath and start to wiggle your toes, your fingers, and then slide your legs together, arms by the side of your body. Inhale and stretch, take your arms away your head, flex your feet and stretch, stretch, stretch away from the waistline. Okay, well done. And then bend your knees. And if you're still on the blocks, carefully roll over to your right hand side and come to the sitting. Sit comfortably for a moment with your hands in a Jali Mudra in front of your heart. Inhale, lift and lengthen, and then slightly lean back just to feel the strong support of your back muscles, support steadiness of the universe. Reflect your practice, reflect your intention of the practice, notice how you feel, enjoy extra strength, flexibility and clarity of mind. Wishing yourself health, happiness and freedom from suffering. We finish with one gentle OM. Exhale first. Inhale. Oh. Bow your head to your heart, to the light within you, and open your eyes. Well done, everyone. Thank you very much. Namaste. And have a lovely day.